Today's student, I was going to be revising what we have done for the time. Uh, we are going to be looking at the following topics. The number line, the number based system, factors, estimation and approximation. So we are going to start with the first one, the number line. What is a number line? A number line is a horizontal line or even a vertical line that is divided into three parts the zero part, the negative integer part, and then the positive integer part. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is a horizontal line. This line drawn is just a horizontal line. Now I can make this line to become a number line by dividing it what? into three parts. Four, I'll get the midpoint, that is the center of the number line, and level it what? on zero. Now from the zero to my right, I have what? The positive what? Positive integers. Positive what? Integers. And then from zero to my left, I have what? I have negative what? Negative integers. Now, this still is not yet a number line because there is no what? There's no graduation on it. Now, to make this one a number line, I have to divide. Uh, the either side of the number line into what equal number of what segment. So I have this. This can be one, two, three, four, and maybe five. I have negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and then what negative five. Now this is what a number line is like. Now, what is the number line used for? The number line is used for addition and what subtraction of what integers. Now, let's use the number line to do some calculation. Example: Use the number line. Point 
zero for the second number. Now I have the second number as one well, plus three. So I'll take this point now as my zero now. Now zero to this point is one, two, and then what three. So I'll now move from where I stopped initially to what point eight now. And then put my arrow again. The arrow must be there to show the direction of what movement plus what three. That means five plus three, the result is equal to what eight. And from the number line, the last movement ends at point what eight, giving us what our final what answer. So five plus three is equal to what eight. Let me give another example again. Number two. Let's say I have. 8 minus 1, no, 3 in this case. Now, I'll draw my number by using my ruler. I have it this way. Then I have my point 0, I have my point 1, point 2, point 3, point 4, point 5, point 6, point 7, point 8, and so on and so forth. Now, the first number here is a positive number, which means I am moving what? I am moving to my right. So I'll start from point zero and move what? Eight times to my right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll move from zero and end at this point. So this is my movement. Now I moved forward, so I will indicate it by showing, putting my arrow here, and then I will have what here, plus 8, to show that this first movement is for what? Positive what? 8. Now, where the first value n will now become the starting point for the next number, and the next number is what? Minus 3. Now, because it is minus 3, I am moving backward. I am not going forward again. I always go forward when it is a positive number, and then we we'll go backward a negative number. So minus 3, I will now take this place as my point 0. This point to this point, that's 1. To this point, 2. To this, the next point, that's 4, 3. So I will move from this point again now to this point. Now I will indicate, it's, a, it's very, very important that I indicate what my arrow now. Now I move backward, so the arrow becomes like this now. And then I'll put the number on it, which is minus 3. So where the second point ends, that's my final answer. That is 8 minus 3 is equal to what? 5. Now, this is how to do what? Addition of what? Integers. Using the number line. Now, let me go to the negative. Let me just make that one example free. Let's say I have minus 3 minus what? 4. Now, minus 3, okay, let me first take this one. Minus 3 plus 4. Minus and a positive uh, integer. So I'll draw my number line. Now, in this case, I have put negative and what positive number. So I have to divide my number line into what positive and what negative. So I have 1, I have 2, I have 3, I have 4, and then what? This. Then to the left, I have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, etc. Now the first integer is negative. So at point 0 now, I'll be moving backward of 0 3 times. So I have what? 0 to this point 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So I am moving this way now. So I'll put my arrow and then indicate the number minus 3. Now, I stop here. This will now become my starting point for the second number. And the second number is what? A positive integer, which is what? Plus 4. So I'll take it from this place and move right now. Now from this place to this place is 1, 2, 3, and what? 4. So I'll end it here now. I can take it above. Then I'll put my arrow to, so this is for what? Plus 4. So here the second point ends, that's my final answer. What that means is negative 3 plus 4 is equal to what? 1. And that's very true. Now, example 4. Now I have minus 3 plus what? 3. I have negative 3 plus what? 3. Positive and what? Negative. So I'll draw my number line again. I have... I have 0, 
one, two, three. And then here I have negative one, negative two, negative two, negative three. Now the first one is negative three. So I'll move from zero back to three times. So I move here and then I'll end here. Indicates my arrow, so I'll put one to minus three. Now this is where this first point ends, so that becomes from zero for the next number. And the next number is what? Plus three. So I'll move to my right now. Now, if I move to my right, since this is three and this is three, with what? Opposite sign. It means I'll move from this zero and return back to this point again. So there will be no point moving again. All I need to do is to indicate what? The arrow. So I have double arrow on the same uh, curve. So that is for what? Negative three and what? Plus three. Now let's look at example five, where I have both numbers to be what? Negative, example five. Let's say I have negative two and then negative one, five. Now, I'll draw my number line. The both numbers are negative, which means I will not need the positive aspect. So I can start from this part. I say this is my point zero, this is negative one, this is negative two, this is negative three, this is negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight. And then I'll put my arrow on the line. Now starting from zero, the first one is what? Negative two. So I'll move from zero backward two times. So I have it like this for what? Negative 2. And it ends here for the first point. Now this place where the first point ends will now become point 0 for the next number. And the next number is what? Negative 5. So I'll move from this point to this point. That's minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and then what? Minus 5. So I'll come from this point and ends here. And then I'll indicate with my arrow, this is minus 5. That means negative 2, negative 5. The result is what? Negative 7. Any question? Now, if there's no question, that will be the end of what? The number line.